Hi, this is Brad. I have an older Canon IP90 printer that you can see here. Generally, it's been a pretty good printer, but I had a few problems with it recently, and Canon told me that I needed to buy a new one, and they were wrong. So I wanted to give you the solution for a few problems that may help you out. And of course, Google is also your friend. Let's talk about a couple of the problems I experienced and how to fix them. Now, one problem I had, you know, you see this green light that's solid. There's also a trouble light that will flash orange. And depending on how many times it flashes, it means something different. So I think I was getting four flashes. And I called Canon. They said, hey, your printer is broken. You need to buy a new printer. Well, it turns out that's not true. What it was is that the ink cartridge was not seated properly. So I'm going to open the case here. And in a second, you should see the carriage return to the center. And what you want to make sure is that the cartridge is, well, it's moving around, but you get the general idea here. In fact, I think I'm going to even shut it. You want to make sure that the cartridges are fully seated. So that was the first instance where I was told that I needed a new printer. And in fact, I did not. And I'm going to tell you the second problem that I had. And this was just yesterday that this occurred. My... Um, my, I was not getting the paper feeding properly. It's been a problem for a while where it just doesn't feed. I don't have any paper in there right now, but you know, it was grabbing like big reams of paper, you know, two, three at once, getting jammed. And I called Canon and guess what they told me? You need a new printer? Hey, guess what? We'll sell you one. And I really didn't want to go that route. So here was the solution to that. Um, you see the button on the right here. And uh, well, unfortunately, I think I turned off the printer, but we'll turn it back on. It should just take a second here. And what you want to do once I get a solid green light is you take the right button and as you hold it down, it'll flash several times. Now you want to wait till it's flashed three times. I'm going to do that right now. So we're going to hold it down. There is the first flash, second flash, third flash release, okay? And you should hear it start to make some noise. Now what's going to happen is it's going to clean the rollers, okay? And you can hear that going on right now. So it's going to go through a cycle. I'm not going to sit here while you watch the whole thing. But guess what? That cured the problem. So there's two problems we had that where I supposedly needed a new printer that I actually didn't. Now I'm going to go over to my computer. I'm going to talk about the third problem. Actually, I'll show you the printer a little bit longer for the third problem. The third problem is that I tried to print photographs and the Canon software wouldn't recognize it. And while, I, while Windows drivers would go ahead and utilize this printer for just normal routine printing, I couldn't use any of the advanced cleaning, any photo printing, that sort of thing that came with Canon. Now I called Canon, what do you want to think they said? Yep, you need new a new printer, right? We don't support Windows 8.1, which is what I'm using. And, and in fact, there is no proper driver for Windows 8.1, if you look. Now I'm gonna go over to my computer. In fact, I've got the light on here. I think I'll turn it off so it's not so much glare. And you can see the URL, and I'll tell you what this is here in just a second. Support-asia.canon-asia.com forward slash contents forward slash Asia forward slash EN forward slash 01004613040.html. I don't know if I need to read you that whole thing. What is this? Well, guess what? It's a um, it's a driver for Windows 8.1 64-bit. Okay, now they also have a 32-bit. You can probably find it or Google it or whatever. I'm showing you the 64-bit. So the point being that according to Canon, there's no driver available for this thing. You can't use any of those advanced functions. All you can do is buy a new printer from us. And it's absolute nonsense. Now, I really like Canon. Don't take it the wrong way. You know, Canon makes a really fine product. But just to be totally candid about it, I think I'm going to turn that light back on if I can find it. There it is. Just to be totally candid about it, I think, you know, I've called tech support three times in a matter of days every time I've been told I needed to buy a new printer. And the reality is that I didn't need to buy a new printer at all. I just needed to know how to fix some of these things. So there are other issues that you can Google and Google is your friend. And if anyone wants to put any questions or comments here on YouTube, you can certainly do that. But the point I'm making is that some of these issues are things that are easy to resolve. And especially the situation with a driver. Again, you know, I was, I, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna turn off the light and go back to my computer for a second. There is a, um, I think it's called My Printer or something like that, and it was not detecting this printer at all. Now again, I could utilize Windows and their native drivers to, to you know, print a letter or whatever, that's fine. But I couldn't use any of the advanced uh, printing options. And, you know, Canon USA, and I believe Canon Europe does not have this particular driver, but guess what? Canon Asia does. So even though I think Canon makes a good product and probably most of their tech support people are pretty good, they're giving out some bad information in my opinion, and it might be good for their sales in terms of making you buy a new computer, but 
you probably don't need to. You need to just figure out what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video at this point just to show you that, you know, there are some problems that, you know, you might think you need a new, um, you might think that you need a new printer. And maybe you don't. You know, this is an older printer and it doesn't have some of the wireless features and that sort of thing. But I'll tell you what, it, it prints very nice and it still works real well. But, you know, you have to know, um, and there you can see the cartridges. You have to understand that when you see the flashing yellow but, or light, I should say, not button, it means something. And each different flash means something. And you, and, and you might not get the best information from Canon, unfortunately, even though I think they're pretty good. So I'm going to wrap up the video. I hope that if you did have an IP9, you found that helpful. As I mentioned earlier, if you have any questions or comments, do leave them on the remarks section here on YouTube. And again, let me know if you have any particular questions or comments, and we'll do our best to try to help you out, or maybe somebody else will. Bye-bye.